So, this happened today, this afternoon. Moved under its own steam. Just out of the shed. Traded position for that heavy piece of crap that's in my way. And now, truck is uh, mobile. Compressor should stop in a sec. Hopefully it's not too loud. Right. So, this afternoon the mission is what's outside and drying off from its there we go what's outside and drying off from its wash we got a lot of the crap off the uh, ram and that there and off the engine and in the engine bay steering box needs some proper petroleum style degrees of but anyway what's outside today I'm sick of the dust in the shed I'm gonna uh, sand the roof and give that a paint to uh, get that nice and black Nice solid satin black. We might uh, get the gasless out and weld up a bit of that. As you can see, I've got the dizzy in that wet, so I had to spray it with some WD-40 to uh, get it to start again. Yeah, we'll just go over the engine and uh, I'll wait till it's uh, driving again before I uh, give it a service. But I'll go over the engine and give it a good service once I've uh, yeah, put some oil flush in it and get it nice and clean. I need a new radiator cap still. That hasn't been done yet. And then uh, it's a matter of finishing off our tail. Some welds to grind up and some strengthening. Just a few more welds to put in there. Might go and get some flat bar and just fill some gaps in in the time being before I go and get hold of that sheet. I need to reinforce these and make up my tail ramps. And give you a bit of a better view of it when it's not in tucked away in it shit. It's a bit hard to work to tell how big it is. You get nothing to really reference off. But a falcon should fit on the back of it. Um, measurement wise. The other thing I've got to do is lube up the hinge points and the ram. Once I've got everything off the back of it I need to do a full extend the ram. Give that a good lube up and uh, the couple of uh, grease nipples on it. There's some steering grease. Steering joints that need grease down there. Give everything a bit of paint and a bit of grease and uh, the engine a service, some welding. We're almost traveling. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna get the roof painted while I'm outside, sanded and painted just while I'm outside because, uh, yeah, like I say, I'm sick of cleaning dust out of the shed. Yeah. Used the vacuum cleaner for freaking 25 minutes getting the shit off the floor from where I'd already sanded the truck in places on the tray previously. That stuff went everywhere. Um, yeah, let's uh, get this roof sanded and painted and uh, I'll come back. Righto. So I gave it a bit of a sand. We're not going for show quality, but uh, got a bit of a sand. A bit of a mask up just along the top of the window so I can paint close to where the window rubber finishes and a bit of a hit with some fill prime she's just skinning off now as soon as that dry we will uh, just give it all a hit with some black I'm just going to give that top very back bit a bit of a rub with uh, some wax and grease remover because there's some shit on it from the from over the back of where the tray is before I do that so it doesn't run and go yuck and uh, while I'm waiting for that to skin, I might uh, stick some more paint on the actual body of it. She's pretty beat up, but she's going to be a function truck, not a form fuck, not a form truck. It's uh, it's old. It was cheap. It's built solid, built tough. So look, I'm just going to use it as a towing vehicle for uh, the purpose of moving some of my vehicles around, really. The other thing for mates and picking up disabled cars for, uh, for wrecking purposes. Yeah, so uh, roof's going to look a bit better than it did. Stone chipped at buggery from the uh, its previous life was actually used as a uh, roadways roadworks kind of vehicle. So uh, it would have been following other trucks with dirt and gravel in it and gra dirt and gravel in itself. So. The roof of it's pretty scarred up, but not that rusty, which is great. It's always a win. 
Um, I'm not too concerned of how this front tray looks. That will probably be all right. Just where it's a bit speckly there, I might give it another quick lick. But uh, that front tray bit across there is going to have a 54-inch light bar, LED light bar on it. So I don't really care what it looks like. It's going to be covered. Uh, front window needs a good clean with some thinners or preps or something. So we can see what we're doing again. I'll tell you what. If you want one of the weirdest things you can do in a motor vehicle and you've got a yeah, little cab over truck like this, move it while it's like this. Weirdest feeling. Moved it forward a bit just so that the roof was in the shed out of the sun. A little bit because the sun's a bit harsh and I think I got sunburnt today so, well I feel like I'm sunburnt. Don't want make it worse. But uh, yeah, we'll put some black on the truck, bring the truck in and then work on the very tail of it, finish off some welds in a few places, probably just use the gasless for these, none of them are too serious or structural, but yeah, making progress, I'll uh, shoot, some vid up, shoot some vid up of this uh, once the uh, roof's painted and that, a bit more progress I'll come back to you.